Yes, 1 John and the second chapter. And, and verse 19 says, They went out from us. Now notice this. They left us. They departed from us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Yes. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. Let me read this to you in the Amplified. And as I read it, this hit home. This spoke to me. And God dealt with me. And he said, share it with my people. But as I'm sharing this with you, I'm as well speaking to me. Lord, let me read it in the Amplified. They went out from our number, but they did not really belong to us. For the, if they had been of us, they would have remained with us. But they withdrew that it might be plain that they all are not of us. Reach out and touch somebody and tell them it's time, it's time to let go. Let go so you can move on. Let go so you can move up. Let go so you can move in. Let go so that you might fulfill your God-given mandate. That you might fulfill your God-given purpose. That you might fulfill your God-given assignment. You got to let go. God is saying you're going to have to come out. You can't get to where I desire to take you. As long as you continue to be a Klingon. Touch somebody and tell them I've had a Klingon mentality long enough. But my Klingon days are old. Because God's will is more important to me than anyone or anything in my life. And I'm going to let go of whomever and whatever I have to let go of in order to be pleasing in his sight because I'm not trying to please man I'm not trying to impress man as long as that is your focus you will never accomplish the, the, the great things that God would have you to accomplish in him because those very ones will wind up. And the very ones that you have to leave. The, the very ones that, uh, hey, that you have to let go of. When God say let go of. Uh, hey, uh, will wind up keeping you in bondage uh, for the rest of your life. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be miserable huh? all of my life. And I refuse. Touch somebody and tell them I refuse huh? to be unhappy. Huh? I refuse to be bitter. Huh? I refuse to be resentful. Huh? I refuse to try to let others put me in a mode huh? hey, that I can't fit into. I'm tired of trying to wear shoes huh, that don't fit. Huh? And shoes that don't fit make you walk funny. Huh? 
<laughs> what is he trying to be cute? I'm tired of trying to please man. And I am going to please God. My mind is made up. For God I'll live. And for God I'll die. I believe that we as a people of God. Hallelujah. Are at the parent experiencing a paradigm shift. Touch somebody uh, and tell them a paradigm shift. Right? Uh, believe that we're at a pivotal point uh, in our life. Uh, a pivotal point when it comes to ministry. A uh, pivotal point when it comes to family. Uh, a pivotal point. Touch somebody and tell them a pivotal point. We've reached a pivotal point in our life when it comes to our various friendships and relationships. We have reached a pivotal point in our life when it comes to our businesses and our careers and our finances. Uh, things are getting ready to change. Uh, look at your neighbor and tell them things are getting ready to change and as that change occurs and as God takes you to another dimension in him hallelujah with the shifting comes the sifting touch somebody and tell them with the shifting comes the sifting hey, 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 hey. there's some people and some things you're going to have to just let go of. Huh? There are some names huh? and numbers and, and, and pictures huh? that you need to erase huh? from your telephone. Hi, hi, hi. You don't want to hear it. Huh? There's some email addresses huh? you need to forget. Huh? There are some pictures you've got even in your wallet you need to take out uh, hey, because they have become officially uh, a part of your past uh, and they cannot go uh, to where you're going uh, uh, you got to take the pictures from off the wall you don't want to hear it uh, cut somebody and tell them I've got to make some changes uh, in order for Abraham uh, to get to where he had to go uh, he had to come out uh, from amongst some of his own kinfolk uh, as long as he stayed there uh, he could not be blessed uh, in the way God desired to bless him uh, and he had to leave uh, touch somebody and tell him he had to make his departure uh, it's not always easy to let go um, uh, uh, hey, but you've got to learn how to let go uh, touch somebody and tell them you've got to let go uh, you've got to let go uh, and the sooner uh, uh, the better uh, uh, Hey, 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 you wonder why and some of you still holding on hey, to Johnny Smith and Bessie Lou and they done walked out on you and, hey, and you still grieving and you still lamenting and, and you still trying to get them to come on back you've got Cling on mentality. Huh? You don't want to let them go. Huh? But I come to tell you, you need to let them go. Huh? You can't make somebody stay with you. Huh? You can't make somebody love you. Huh? Huh? Hey, hey, let them go. Touch somebody and tell them, let them go. Huh? Let them go. Huh? You see, I believe there's a tenth gift. Huh? Now, I know there are nine gifts huh, of the Holy Spirit, but I've come up with a tenth, huh, and that's called the gift of goodbye. Touch somebody and tell them it's called the gift of goodbye. And it's time for you to say goodbye. It's time to touch somebody and tell them I've got 
to learn how to say goodbye. You see, if that one does not understand you, if they do not understand who you are, if they do not understand your callings, if they do not understand your giftings, then what happens is they become intimidated by you. You become a threat to them and they wind up being jealous of you because they really don't know who you are. They don't understand your purpose. They feel threatened by your mandate. Joseph's own brethren were threatened because of who Joseph was, because of his dream, because of his calling. I have a purpose. You have a purpose. If all there was to being saved was repentance and baptism and, and being filled with the Holy Ghost, why? The moment we were saved, the Lord would kill us and take us on out of here. But we are here for a reason. You have a purpose. You have a ministry. You have a role to play in this last day move of the Holy Spirit. We're not all called to the fivefold ministry, but we all have an assignment. And you have to check. And it's time for you to check your inner circle and see who you running with and see who you call your friends and touch somebody and tell them you need to analyze who your friends are and who you call your friends because not all of your friends are really friends not all of your friends you see if a person do not understand you they become intimidated they become threatened and they wind up being jealous they, because they don't understand you they don't know how to support you they don't know how to endorse you they don't know longer how to, how to push you you see the people in your life are either an absent or a liability the pushing you or the pulling on you and you've got to make sure that those that are doing the pushing and even the pulling you need to make sure that the pushing and pulling in the right direction hey, because there is a spirit the enemy is going to try to do everything he can to lock you down and lock you up because you are a threat to the kingdom of darkness if you will rise up and recognize who you are and quit trying to be somebody or not quit trying to fulfill and live out somebody else's dream for you you live out your own dream you fulfill let God use you it's time for the real you to come forth hallelujah don't understand they move to control you yeah. hey, hey. They, they say things to try to box you in and box you up they say things to try to bring fear into your heart to try to keep you in the situation that you're in but I've been in this thing too long <laughs> I heard the Lord say in Deuteronomy in the first chapter he said to move tell my people you've been around this mountain too long you've been around this mountain my brothers you've been around this mountain my sisters long enough 
When are you going to come out? When are you going to rise up and be the one God has called you to be? So many in this world are miserable and unhappy because they're allowing others. And if you don't know who you are, then folk will make you somebody you're not. And I refuse to be somebody I'm not. I know who I am in the Holy Ghost. I understand my commission. I understand my assignment. I am fully aware of my purpose and I don't care who don't like it. And I don't care what they say about me. Hallelujah. I've done moved on. I've done let go of all that stuff. Touch somebody and tell them you need to shake off that stuff. Shake it off. Someone get your hands in the air and say, God, help me to shake it off. In the name of Jesus, quit being bewitched. Touch somebody and tell them, quit letting the enemy bewitch you. Quit letting the enemy trick you and mess with you. Don't let anybody box you in and point a finger at you and make you believe you're going to be cursed because you don't do what they say do. Shake off that lie of the devil and rise up. You've got to rise up. It's time for the eagle to soar. But you're going to have to get out of the nest. You're going to have God's time to get you out of your comfort zone. Some people got to go. Grab somebody and tell them you gotta, you gotta let go. You gotta let, you go. gotta let go. If a person don't understand you, they can't accept you for who you are. That's why they're trying to change you. Try to keep you under their thumb. But let go. Touch somebody and tell them you got to let go. You got to let go. You got to turn it loose. Quit being afraid. I don't care what others are saying. Let go. Learn to walk away. Hallelujah. Learn and get to know the gift of goodbye. Touch somebody and tell them get accustomed to the tenth gift. It's called the gift of goodbye it's knowing when it's over it's knowing when to move on it's knowing when it's time to get up and get out i refuse to stay down i refuse to be bound i refuse to be held captive by anyone or anything say what you want about me do all you want to do but i'm still going on it will not stop me. Touch somebody and tell them I will not quit being who I am. I'm going to do what God has called me to do. And I'm not here to please you anyway. And if you don't like me, bye-bye, see you later. The ministry is still going to go forth. Hey, because you didn't appoint me. You didn't anoint me. You didn't hire me. And you you gotta go in to let go. You see, when a person don't understand you, they can't accept you for who they are. So they do in everything in their power to start restricting you. They try to restrict your movements. <laughs> all miserable, all frustrated, taking pills to wake you up and pills to slow you down and pills to put you asleep and pills to wake you up. You're going through all kind of changes. Can I get a witness in the house? I don't care the title. 
I don't care their position. I don't care who they say they are. I don't care how influential they may be or not be. I don't care how much they have or don't have. You've got to do what God has called you to be or do what God has called you to do and be the vessel that God has called you to be and quit letting others and quit letting circumstances interfere with your assignment. Get your hands in there and shout hallelujah. The Lord said let them go. Touch somebody tell them let them go. Let them go if they don't accept you. They certainly ain't going to be able to respect you. And they're going to do everything they can to discredit you and dishonor you. They'll even move to scandalize you. But let them do what they want to do. I'm going on. Bye-bye. See you later. Your role in my life has come to an end. Your part of my life story is finished. I've changed. Hallelujah. The chapter has been turned. I'm starting a new chapter now. And new ending. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear. You got to let go. You see, if they don't understand you, they're going to be intimidated. They're going to be threatened. They're going to become jealous of you, like Joseph's own brethren. And they're going to move. Hallelujah. Because they don't understand you, they can't respect you, and they're going to do everything to try to bring you down and see your demise because you refuse to give up on your dream, because you refuse to give up on your purpose. I am not going to give up on my purpose. Granted, I've done some things in my life. Is there anybody here, say Prophet Wes, I've done some things in my life. If I could just have an opportunity to go back in time and redo it, I would do it all over again. But you see, that's another part of what the enemy uses to cripple you. Is your past failures, your past mistakes, your past slips, your past sins, your past falls, your past errors. Call it whatever you want. And you can't categorize sin. Ain't one sin bigger than another sin. Sin is still sin. But you cannot be shackled. Do not allow the enemy to imprison you because of your past. When you have done what is right before God, when you have done what is right before fellow your fellow man, then you move on. Quit addressing it and let go. And thank God that he's a God of another chance. If God can restore me, he can restore you. If he can lift me up out of the muck and the mire of my past, he can do it for you. I refuse to dwell on my past. Your past is a cancel check. You can't do anything with a cancel check. Why are you trying to deposit a check that has already been canceled? It has been dealt with. It has already been cashed. There's nothing you can do about it. It's already been spent. I'm coming up. Shake those. Let go. Touch somebody and tell them, let go. Let go. Hallelujah. Touch somebody, tell them, let go. Let go. Let go. Look. Folk that walk out on you, let them walk out on you. And try to keep them. Don't try to hold fast to them. Their role has come to an end in your life. Touch somebody and tell them their role has come to an end in your life. Quit trying to haul them back in. Be thankful. They made their exit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
glory to God. Yeah, free, stay free. <laughs> God. Thank you. Thank you. Don't be intimidated yes. by what others think, by what others say, by what others feel about you. Not everybody going to pat your own head. Not everybody going to say wonderful things about you. And folk, they just believe everything they hear nowadays. Believe everything they read. You can't help. You can't stop them from thinking what they're going to think. Feeling what they're going to feel about you. Saying what they're going to say about you. If that's all you concentrate on, your wings will be clipped forever. And you'll never know what it's like, like the eagle, to soar. It's time for you to soar. It's time for you to rise up. You don't find the eagle flying through the storm. You see what that eagle has learned to do. He's learned to learn. He's learned how to use those adverse winds to his advantage. And the winds only serve to take him higher. Hallelujah. Let adversity, let your challenges take you higher. Let them become stepping stones to a greater you, to a better you, to a more understanding you, to a more compassionate you, let them become stepping stones to a more anointed you, let it draw you closer to God than it ever has before, and let it make you more determined to fulfill your assignment. No contest, no conquest. Yeah, I can't be a conqueror if you ain't conquered nothing. <laughs> it's time for you to conquer your past. It's time for you. <laughs> oh, but my ex. <laughs> what do you think you call him an ex for? <laughs> Touch somebody and tell them, what do you think you call him an ex for? <laughs> Locked down and locked up into relationships that are ungodly. Amen. Friendships that are really demonic and not of God. Oh, you're getting quiet on me now. <laughs> Even those in ministry mm -hmm. trying to cripple you and hold you back because they have a personal agenda. And they're only thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about your welfare. It's time for you to rise up and say, God, I know who I am. And I know my purpose. And I'm going to go forward. I refuse to be miserable all my life. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to enjoy my life. I ain't going to let anything in my past. I'm not going to let anything in my present or anything to come ha, hinder me. I'm going on. Ha, give me this mountain. Let's take this mountain. We can go up at one, but you can't go up until you let go. Let go. Grab somebody and tell them you gotta let go. You gotta let go. Hey. He left you. They ain't joined to you. Let them go. Let go. Touch somebody and tell them they ain't joined to you. Let them go. Let them go. Touch somebody. Tell them let them go. Let them go. Hallelujah. Let them go. Don't make someone stay. Can't do it. Let them go. Touch somebody and tell them let them go. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. I'm not trying to say that. And some of them, let's just face it, they are bad. But not all of them, but some of them, maybe a good percentage of them, <laughs> are really bad. <laughs> Amen. And if you wasn't saved, <laughs> let go. Touch somebody and tell them, let go. Let go. Quit trying to hold on to someone or something that you were never intended to hold on to from the beginning. <coughs> because some relationships, friendships, people that come into your life 
are there only for a season and they have to go it's like when the shuttles used to launch from NASA or, or from Florida how many remember seeing shuttles launch on television there are these